have to say I'm pretty amazed with what I've seen in the deep learning group. Well, to me, deep learning is learning in a 21st century school. So it's learning outside of the textbook and using digital tools um, to enhance our learning and creating new knowledge and uh, using different ways to learn. Um, I think it's both fun and educational and that's what we're trying to show everyone. So deep learning is about friendship and teamwork. Now, and it's sort of like a state of mind, a habit, a part of my being. Bottom line is deep learning is always there for you and um, it really helps you just get a better understanding of what you want to learn and succeed in and um, really you even surprise yourself with how much you can learn. <laughs> so I'm a student teacher and basically I didn't know really anything about deep learning at the very beginning and through this experience I've learned with the grade sevens and the grade eights how like how to create an environment of deep learning how to like what exactly is deep learning and also as a teacher just how to facilitate this environment there are six characteristics that we like to encourage here at Glashen critical thinking and problem solving collaboration creativity and imagination communication citizenship and character education we like to incorporate them into our everyday lives so we're not only better learners, but better people. The idea of fixed and growth mindsets was first introduced to me by my grade six teacher. And now it has been reintroduced to me as a part of the deep learning journey. Our music teacher, Miss Bradbury, she was late to come. And uh, Mr. Taylor, he, uh, he was replacing her and um, at the end I said to him well I'm not really a musician <laughs> he said you're not really a musician yet <laughs> remember it growth and fixed mindset so currently I'm working with um, my class 7-9 they've picked expectations and decided that they're going to come up with the actual learning plan so instead of me giving them the assignment, they've decided that they're going to make the plan, to come up with their learning goals, work on the success criteria, and then of course uh, develop it together. And then at the end, they present it to each other and throughout this whole process, they end up being sort of co-learners because they have the ex experience of learning about one thing and then teaching the other person and vice versa. One of the most significant changes that, uh, that I've noticed with the NPDL uh, initiative and in terms of uh, student uh, response to that and, and student development is a change in dialogue on their part. Uh, the six C's have given them an anchor to refer to. Uh, whereas in the past they could not really identify specifically what it is that they were do, uh, aiming to do, now they've got a dialogue that they can frame their thinking around and a set of terms that they can use as reference points. And once they've got those terms, then they can start thinking about the criteria that fit within those terms. So what it's done for students is it's provided a set of criteria for them to self-assess and measure their own progress. I think this has been the most significant gain. Um, consequently, uh, the students are probing us as educators. They're saying, how do the six C's fit within this activity? So that pushes us also to consider our pedagogy and our response to the students' needs that they're identifying themselves. Really nervous. My heart's kind of racing. To tell you the honest yeah. truth, this uh, this whole event started to take shape over coffee one morning before school started. There was a casual conversation between the staff here at Arlington Five and myself over a, a little latte order, and uh, and two months later, here we are. We 
we do this a lot in our school. Uh, we, uh, for example, the grade eights uh, just did a um, stock market project where we created our own brokerage houses um, and created unique displays. Um, and a lot of groups use technology to make their websites for it, uh, which really showed that uh, we use deep learning in, uh, in the projects we do here at Glashen. Um, the seventh graders also did our heritage fair, um, where they create oral presentations as well as um, uh, displays as well. Um, last year, the grade eights, we did um, a pretty good job, but the grade sevens absolutely exceeded that. It was amazing. Um, and it just shows that here at Glashen just gets better and better every year. On the trip to China, the 6E surfaced in almost every situation. For example, we had to use a combination of communication, collaboration, and citizenship to successfully navigate a crowded Beijing subway at rush hour without being disrespectful to the locals. We had to communicate non-verbally with Chinese students and citizens who spoke limited to no English, and the only way to make this happen was with our knowledge and understanding of the 6Es. I think that the 60s were a key component to the trip's success.